All right, Julie and Julia, how many people here love food? <laughs> okay. No, there's half of you love food? Okay. All right. They're, they're fine. How many people here have seen Julie and Julia, the movie? All right, so I'm really enthusiastic. Yes, okay. Um, huge move that I, I, I love talking about. There's, I'm going to highlight this in the next couple of minutes. Julie and Julia, I highly recommend. You've just got to see it, okay? Whether you love food um, or not, there are two true stories that are in this movie. One of Julia Child, who's a, a ren renowned French chef, and a blogger in New York named uh, Julie Powell. And she, the, these two stories interlink with each other in ways that they mirror everything that I've talked about, okay? About how passion can become a successful career. Uh, for example, Julia Child at the beginning was, she didn't know what she wanted to do she, in, with her life, and her husband says, well, what do you like doing? And she says, I love, I like to eat, you know? And so that was the beginning. It sounds so trivial, but she loved to eat. So, so she ended up going to cooking training and learning how to cook, and she was in, in, uh, in France at the time. And she ended up partnering with other food lovers, and they created the first book that launched her career, and she became you know, a renowned TV host. Uh, and so you've got that going in there. You're going to be able to see how, and be inspired by this woman who persevered, as, uh, again, in a, in a male-dominated um, industry of chefs, and, and didn't let anything stop her, and how the idea of community helped support her in the form of her husband was, was so, so supportive. And that's the same with Julie Powell, was the blogger. Now, she was going, she was going through an unhappy time at her work, and she discovered what blogs are. Now, blogs, for those who don't know what blogs are, you know you've heard of it, heard, heard of it before. It's, it stands for web blog. And it started off as online diaries. Okay, where it wasn't for business, it was all about being able to share what you're passionate about, what your thoughts are. And with the magic of the internet and Google, the Google search engines, is that y once you post something online, it automatically is searchable. So if you've got words like food in it, um, or movies, or as I talked about, the sizzle factor assessment that, that we talked about, is about finding keywords that are meaningful to you personally and for your business and because people are searching those keywords in some way and uh, so with Julie Powell she made it her goal to not only just give her something to look forward to and, and build her her self-confidence again from working at this job that she didn't enjoy was for 365 days she was going to blog about a recipe from Julia Child's cookbook and the results. So she completely dedicated herself.